All right, let's start this video. Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the equipment that I use to create these videos. So I wanted to start out by showing you guys a little bit behind the scenes in my studio. We got a couple different box lights here and then we got a ring light. And these are really great for doing unboxings and uh, just vlogs in general. This is my workstation. The first thing we come to on my workstation is the Acer Aspire 5 laptop, which I utilize to edit all the videos. I also have an Acer Aspire E15 laptop, which is in my truck right now. But I use both of these laptops to edit videos and they're both phenomenal laptops. I did a review on both of these, so you can check those out in previous videos. And then here we have the E4K Plus camera, which I use to create all of the moto vlogs that you see on my channel, as well as the Yima helmet. I also showed you how to install this mount that is good for action cameras. And here is the selfie stick slash monopod. It's a really great selfie stick and it also is adjustable and then these little legs they um, clamp together so that you can actually just hold it. The next camera that we have is the Yi 4K and this is not the 4K Plus model. Really the only difference between the two is this one does not record audio with an external mic. Only the Yi 4K Plus model does that. You can find other action cameras that do that, like the GoPro. Um, the GoPro Hero 6 is what this is comparable to, but this one's like half the price. So if you're looking for a good budget-friendly action camera, I would definitely highly recommend the Yi 4K Plus camera. And I will leave links to all of this equipment in the description box below so that you can check it out for yourself. And then the next camera that I've used in previous videos is the SJ Cam SJ7 Star, which is another good moto vlog camera. This one you can actually hook up an external mic, so uh, moto vlogging is possible with this camera. I will say that it is no comparison between the Yi 4K Plus though. I just did a dual moto vlog with my wife and I was using the 4K Plus and my wife was using the SJ Cam SJ7 Star and you will be able to see a pretty significant difference, not necessarily in the visuals, but definitely in the audio. So if you want something that's a lot more perfected, then definitely go with the Yi 4K Plus as far as moto vlogging goes. But if you're looking for just a simple camera that can shoot really good quality video, then the SJ7 and the Yi 4K Non Plus model are really good cameras for that. Subscribe. I am currently filming with the Canon EOS M6 and this is a phenomenal camera as well. I will do a quick comparison between this and the Yi 4K Plus camera so you can see the difference in quality as well as audio because the camera that I'm filming with right now is $700 and the camera that we're looking at right now is $300. By the way, this is a Galaxy backdrop that I just have pinned to the wall here and I will leave a link to that in the description as well. But yeah, let's turn on the Yi 4K Plus camera and do a quick comparison. And I will also show you the Canon EOS M6 using the Yi 4K Plus camera. But first, let's check out this centipede that I found last night, because why not? And no, no centipedes were hurt in the making of this film. Cool. All right, so now let's check out the Yi 4K Plus camera and see what that camera can do. All right, so now we are recording using the Yi 4K Plus camera, and I wanted to go straight into the uh, centipede so you guys can do a better comparison between the first footage that you watched with the Canon EOS M6. One thing that I need to mention is I have the settings set to narrow so that you can get a better comparison and not have that fisheye look. And then I'm also recording this using 
a Comica CVM VM102 directional shotgun mic. So the audio should be a lot better than what it would be if I wasn't using any microphone. Okay, so let's check out the Canon EOS M6 using the Yi 4K Plus camera. So like I said, it has a flip up screen. So it makes it easy to make sure you're in the frame. The reason I went with the M6 is because it has an external microphone jack so that you can get that awesome audio. I am currently using the ETM 008 and this is also a directional shotgun mic. So right now I'm gonna pull it apart. This is the microphone by itself. It comes with a three prong male end and I bought this 90 degree adapter so that you can just snap it into place. And then you can tilt it towards you. So let's say you're filming this way and you wanna get your audio in there. Or let's just say you're doing a vlog and you want to make sure your audio is on point. So all you gotta do is make sure it's facing you, flip up your screen, and then you're vlogging. back using the Canon EOS M6 and I have it all the way zoomed out. If I get closer, that autofocus really picks you up quick. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those in the comment section down below. And again, I will leave a link to all of the equipment that I showcased in this video in the description box. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Take care.